Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at another HomeKit application. And today we're going to look at what's called Harmony Bridge. Now I know we've talked a lot about setting up HomeBridge to get your non-HomeKit devices working uh, so that you can access them inside of HomeKit. And HomeBridge has been one of those that has caused some complications for people. Uh, sometimes the app will crash or it won't recognize very well two separate Harmony hubs. And so it can create a lot of problems. And so a lot of people would just uninstall it or got frustrated with it. I did show a few workarounds uh, for doing that with HomeBridge. Uh, but I found this application that takes care of it all by itself so that you don't have to go through all the configuration with HomeBridge. It'll run right alongside it. Uh, the application's uh, $5.99, so there's a little bit of a cost to it. But uh, I'm just going to show you how this works and how easy it is to set up. So this is it on the App Store, and you can see it's Harmony Bridge. And there's a couple other ones too. There's uh, uh, Ambi Bridge and TPL Bridge for different plugins. And so again, the same idea. It's running uh, just like it would run with HomeBridge. So let me just go ahead and show you what that looks like. So we're going to go ahead and open it for the first time. And let me just go ahead and put this down. And so right now it's going to start by searching for any uh, Harmony hubs I have on my network. And you can see I've got uh, two Harmony hubs here. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two Harmony Hubs here, and you can see all of the different activities that it has picked up. You notice that, again, it's unpaired with HomeKit, both of them, but the Harmony Hubs are connected so it can see them. And you can see I get a code for each one as well as the uh, uh, QR code to scan right here as well. So I've got my phone up, and I'm in HomeKit. So let me show you how to add this. I'm just going to tap on the plus, and we're going to tap on Add Accessory. Then, of course, I get my camera, and I'm just going to bring it up to the screen and scan the first code. You can see that it says uncertified accessory. We're going to tap add anyway, and it's going to add that bridge. And so there it is. And now we can come in and name it whatever we want. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to shrink this down. And this one's in the living room. So I'm just going to put, uh, let's go like this. And I'll put a dash. And then we'll just put L and then R. So I've got that there, default room. We'll go ahead and find the living room. And you can include it in favorites if you want, but I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to tap on next and so there you can see there's my harmony hub and you can see it's got the accessory there and it has all the different inputs in there and again i'm going to come in and change the room right here to living room because that's where it's located and we're all set now and ready to go i'm going to tap on done on the top right and so there we go now if i go to my rooms and if i go to living room you can see there's the harmony hub watch tv now if i just force touch this i can turn that on or off and I also have my inputs down here. And if I tap on inputs, there are all the different inputs on that Harmony Hub. As you can see, the same thing is over here. And when I tap any one of those, it's going to change that input on my television and do all of the settings or activities that I have set up with that Harmony Hub. So I'm just going to go ahead and say cancel, and we'll tap out of that. So I've added that one to the living room. And just to show you that you can add a second one, I'm just going to come back here to home, tap on the plus again. We're going to say add accessory. And I'm going to come in and add the second one. And you can see there it is, Add Anyway. And this is the Harmony Hub 2. As you can see, it's been added. Can I come in here? Again, I'm just going to, going to rename it. Come all the way back here. And I'll just give this one a dash. And I'm going to, this one is in the loft. There we go. And if I come in here to Default Room, I'll go Loft again. Tap Next. Default room of loft, tap that. You can see there's all my inputs, tap on done. And so now again, if I go to rooms and I come up here, I go to the loft and you can see there's my Harmony Hub 2 for the Apple TV. And if I again force touch it, go to inputs, you can see there's all three inputs just like I have them right here. So let's go ahead and cancel and we'll tap off of that. So as you can see, this is uh, just a really quick way to set up HomeBridge uh, and HomeKit for the Harmony Hub. And, uh, and, and it seems to be working really well, and all the inputs function well. I've been trying them out. And so again, it's just another option. It can run right alongside HomeBridge, no problem. I've got that running as well. And it's just a great uh, addition to your uh, HomeKit setup. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.